Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys some of the ColourPop products that I bought a couple weeks ago and they came in the mail and I'm really excited about them so I applied some today. I'm wearing two of the products right now. I used one of their brow pencils and one of their liquid lipsticks. I believe it's called Teeny Tiny. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me dem a demo of me applying the brow products, how I do my eyebrows real quick. Just a sped up version just to let you know how I like the product and how it looked. I'll make a separate video showing you how I do my brows since currently I'm growing them out right now. So they look a little crazy in the beginning of the video, so just a warning. But yeah, and I'll also show you guys how I apply the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing. So yeah, go ahead and watch the rest of the demo and I'll do a voiceover during those parts to let you know how I like the feel of the product and all that good stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So I'm back guys, here you see my eyebrows are pretty much not done and they are definitely not filled in. I'm going to show you how I like to use the ColourPop brow pencil to fill in my brows. Now this is the first time that I'm going to use the pencil so I hope it turns out right. So here's the packaging for my brow pencil. The shade that I have it in is called black and brown. As you can see it has a spoolie on one side and on the other end it has the actual brow pencil. So first I'm just brushing out my brows with the spoolie end of the brow pencil. So now you see I already traced my brows. I outlined my brows with concealer, which I'll show you guys in another video on how I like to do my brows when they're not properly, you know, maintained. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the product. I'm going to take the other end of the pencil and lightly feather in my brows. And it's a retractable brow pencil so that's pretty good and I'm going to go ahead and use it now. So now guys I'm doing the other eyebrow just lightly feathering it in. First thing I have to say that I noticed when I first applied this, that the color is so dark and I love that it's super dark. Sometimes when I get colors that are like dark brown, it might not be dark enough. I have to like get like a super dark brown. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but like usually I have to get higher end um, pencils to fill my brows that like really have good color payoff and are really smooth and just light, you know, it's really easy to apply and aren't too thick and heavy. This is super light, very, very smooth and I haven't used any powders or anything like I normally do to like, you know, blend everything, but it looks amazing already. I love the color payoff. It's an awesome, awesome brow pencil. I just, I'm really excited about the color payoff. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the demo on my brows. Definitely recommend to buy this product, guys. So now I'm just applying grunge the lip liner which is pretty light for my skin tone I mean it would it works but you know it's just pretty light the good thing about it is that it's extremely creamy so I love that it's super super creamy that was my favorite part about it and the color was pretty light it's really smooth and easy to apply and it's not drying at all one negative thing though I don't think it's retractable like which sucks so they need to fix that <laughs> just saying <laughs> So I'm about to apply Teeny Tiny. My initial response is the color is so pretty when I looked at it. And when you apply it, it looks nice. But once again, like if you take a flash picture, it's pretty light on my lips. Like it's a really brighter, it's a pretty bright color. But I mean, it's like a nude color. But obviously for my complexion, to make it nude for me, I'd need to apply like chestnut underneath it. And then it'd be like pretty awesome. So yeah, I like it so far. It applied nicely. Um, it dries pretty well. It's not drying or anything like that. So I really did like how it looked initially. It just needs a different lip liner. But overall, the feel of it is pretty nice. So it came, I'm cover up my address, but it came with these cute little notes, this color pop, and then in the back they leave like a little message. It says thank you on the front, and then it says, hey love, you're amazing, and there's no butts about it. TT, you know, two Ds for butts, and then it's like an elephant. And his backside. I don't know. I think their cards are really, really cute. I always keep them. I have the last card they sent me with my other order that I ordered like a while ago. So it's been a minute, like a good year since I've ordered from ColourPop. But I've always wanted to try to look the lipsticks, and so I finally did. But yeah, they give you a little note, and then it comes in this packaging. This is ColourPop on the top. Really cute metallic print. Um, inside, it's like the receipt. 
in the packaging and then it's like a little booklet of color pop products i believe inside of here so it has like information about the super shock shadows which i actually have two of them that's what i ordered the last time i ordered from their site have other cheek products um goes into super cheek products and then it goes into their cream gel liners which i haven't tried but i've heard they're really really good and of course their lippy sticks i have two of their lippy sticks they're amazing and of course the ultra matte lippy which is what i've tried today in the video so yeah super cute packaging um i ordered four things from them so in the video of course you saw the brow pencil i used that well that's not the brow pencil i showed you mm -hmm. this is the packaging for the brow pencil and so with the brow pencil in regards to the video like i said in the demo when i was applying it it was extremely smooth i have to say like the product just like glides onto your brows and if you see the video I don't have that much brows like I mean I have some hair there of course I'm growing them out right now but like when I put them on it's like really effortless like I really feathered as much as I could I'm really heavy-handed with doing my eyebrows so I'm trying to like not be so heavy-handed but like I tried my best and like you know lightly feathered them in and I'm telling you that this is about to be bay like when they have their next sale or probably won't even wait till the next sale i'll probably just order some more like asap because it is so good like i really really love the product so in the video it showed you i have a spoolie on one end and then this side is the product the color that i got it in once again i'll say it, it's black and brown and it's just so pretty and really pigmented and it's retractable so freaking awesome and convenient i don't know how much product is actually in here but i hope there's a lot because i do plan on ordering some more like this this is like close second to like my anastasia beverly his beverly his <laughs> beverly hills um brow pomade which i haven't tried yet but i've heard it's like really smooth like this one's really smooth that's pomade so it's completely different but their uh, retractable brow pencil is amazing their brow whiz that is bae um it's just awesome and it's like really quick to do your eyebrows with that and it's so smooth once it gets a little pricey so this one is a lot more affordable so if i want to save my brow whiz i can like alternate this during the week and then brow whiz on like the weekends return up but i was really impressed with these like i i mean i have my brows in now with just this product only like no powder no anything just this brow pencil and i'm really really impressed with this brow pencil so yeah definitely go on their website guys and if you have dark eyebrows i would definitely recommend getting this black and brown color brow pencil it's amazing and it comes with a spoolie so you can't can't beat that helps you get the job done pretty quick and i also got a liquid lipstick this one is the one i got for free so this one's love bug and i haven't tried it yet um but looking at it it looks really really pretty uh that's what it's called yeah it's love bug and yeah i haven't tried it yet it looks like this i hope it's not too bright yeah so it looks like that and it's really really pretty i'm gonna swatch it real quick Ooh, see. Oh, it kind of reminds me of anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the color vamp that's that's pretty much what that looks like in my opinion so a really good dupe for vamp from what i yeah like and i own vamp and it looks pretty much close to that but yeah so that's the color i haven't worn it yet so i don't know how it feels on my lips but it's really cute packaging like it's so cute like the ultra matte lip lines i think that's really really cute so i got that for free so if you spent a certain amount of dollars you can choose out of four different colors which lip you wanted to get so i chose love bug um, the one I was wearing in the video is teeny, what is it, teeny tiny, that was the one I was wearing in the demo, and as you can see, I'm wearing it now, and it's a really, really pretty color, I'll go ahead and swatch this one too, I hope you guys can see it, and it's really, really nude, like a, I want to say like a dark brown mixed with the purplish type of color, um, but yeah, that was that, and wearing it now like i said earlier um it's not super dry like i thought it would be so i'm really impressed by that because i heard a lot of people saying that they were drying like their liquid lipsticks were a little dry um but i put on um, some 
of course chapstick beforehand so that probably helped and yeah but like it's not super super dry I do feel like that color I would prefer to wear that color with a darker lip liner than the one I actually wore it with so the lip liner I wore it with of course is called grunge and as you saw me apply it in the video one thing I noticed and I was in the struggle bus it's not retractable now if it is retractable please somebody tell me if it is because that kind of sucks like look look you get like this little itty bitty excuse the mess around it but like you get this little itty bitty tip of product like that that just can't be like real but I hope it's retractable so yeah I use this as my lip liner with teeny tiny honestly with teeny tiny I would prefer Chesta and I think it would look really really nice on my skin tone because I'm a deeper complexion I'm like dark chocolate dark sexy chocolate so on my skin tone I would use chestnut by MAC with teeny tiny and I think that'll look amazing so yeah I'll definitely try that in another video but overall I really really like the products I definitely think you should buy them if you're interested in ColourPop products if you're thinking about it I think it's a really good deal I mean you can't beat the price of the lippy the lippies were like six dollars I think the brow pixel was like six bucks too six or eight something like that well let me check well, let's see let's see I don't think the receipt actually tells me like how much no it just tells me it's like the order copy like how what did I actually buy but yeah no price on there sorry but yeah anyway I think they're a really great deal regardless um I think you know the lippies were like six dollars six to eight bucks no more than ten for sure but the brow pencil out of all the products here this is my favorite the brow pencil is amazing and I definitely definitely will order some more of these I'll probably order like three next time online because if I run out of these I'll be really sad but I'm really excited that I finally got to use this and I got to show it to you guys on camera and so yeah I really enjoyed their products so definitely check out ColourPop and check out any sales they have coming up and see what you can get definitely recommend their brow pencils and their lip lipsticks are pretty good they're not like super drying it's like it's a little dry but I thought it would be like really really dry but no it's like definitely wearable and yeah, it's not like crusty or anything like that. It feels pretty moisturizing when you wear chapstick underneath. So it's not like, oh my gosh, my lips are like going to fall apart and like be chapped the next day. I don't feel that at all. So yeah, I definitely recommend their products. Their liquid lipsticks and their eyebrow pencils are like really, really bay. So I'll definitely order some more from them. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for my impressions, first impression video for this and yeah let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make more videos like this with new products that I try out and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video bye <laughs>